Yeah, hey, Wayne, I'm trying to put together a list of the top true freshmen heading into the season. I was wondering if you could help me. Who are some true freshmen who have really stood out to you? True freshmen? Uh, uh, T, uh, T's been doing real good, learning the defense and everything. Um, TJ, he's been doing good. We got a lot of good freshmen. It's hard to just choose, you know, just pick a bunch out because all of them have been doing real good this uh, camp. How, uh, I was just talking to Keandre. He said you're, you know, a really, really smart player. Um, how has that evolved in your game, and how have you become even more improved from a year ago? Uh, uh, last year, my uh, first year really just learning the defense. Um, I had a pretty good understanding of everything, but this year just finding out the details, uh, learning more than just my position, what uh, everyone else is doing around me has helped me a lot. Thank you. Kels? What would you say has impressed you most with Keandre so far at corner? Uh, he's a real good communicator. And uh, I know playing corner, I mean, I mean, they tend to get locked in a lot because they're either playing man a lot or, you know, just on their own little island. And when you got a like a good corner who can communicate, it helps out the safeties to the linebackers and so on and so forth. And what's it been like throughout uh, all these practices having Joe Klanderman move from just your position coach to the coordinator of the entire defense? Uh, it's been good, you know, uh, being able to have him as the D coordinator. He's been uh, able to change a lot of things to help help uh, us out a lot, to put us in better positions to make more plays. John? Yeah, Wayne, how, how different is life for you now without Denzel? How much has that changed your role? Uh, you know, it hasn't changed a lot. I mean, Denzel was a great player here at Kansas State. And now that we got J-Mac back there, free safety, he's been doing uh, real good as well, like communicating, learning the defense and everything. So, I mean, it's not a big change, but we still uh, filling each other out being uh, back at safety because, I mean, he was at nickel a lot, so I didn't really communicate with him. And so having him back there has been pretty fun this camp. Is there a lot more on your plate as far as communicating with everybody, the, the right calls and checks, et cetera? Um, I wouldn't say it's uh, a lot more on my play. I just, you know, I just feel that, I mean, if I know what's going on and I can communicate, I'm just going to communicate it rather than waiting on someone else to give me the call. I'd rather learn it and, you know, be, be able to give it to everybody else. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it. Yep. Adam? You redshirted, then you played all 13 games in your redshirt freshman year, and now as a sophomore, just how do you feel about your playing time and your development as a whole as a player so far? Uh, I definitely feel more comfortable. Um, my redshirt freshman year, I was still uh, not trusting myself as much when I seen things, but this year, you know, I feel more comfortable in what I'm doing. I know more, uh, reading formations better, reading the quarterback and everything like that better. So I feel like I, uh, I'm looking forward to this year. And this is your second year of full playing time and the second year of Clemens is head coaching tenure here. How do you feel about being in the program and under Clemens? You know, I love it. I feel like we have, I mean, the best head coach ever. I mean, when you got a good head coach, it just makes you want want to go balls to the wall all the time for him. You do it. Like, I'll do anything for uh, Coach Kleinman and his staff. Derek? Yeah, Wayne, this is your third year in the program. That's what your third different defensive coordinator. Uh, what are some of the complications or challenges with that as a player when you, you kind of cycle through that many in a short time period? Uh, I just think you just got to be able to uh, adapt and being in college football and, uh, you know, that's something I feel like you got to get used to. 
like being able to adapt because, I mean, your coach could change any time, any year, and being able to just uh, be coachable and learn what they want you to learn. And, you know, it has helped me out a lot. Last one here, D. Scott. Uh, yeah, Wayne, um, we've heard a lot about Malik Knowles. Coaches have talked about him. I'm curious about that competition for the number two wide receiver spot, number three spot. Who has really stepped up in those roles during preseason practice? Uh, Joaquin Gill, he's been real good this uh, camp, real good, making a lot of catches and a lot of competitive catches too. Um, I mean, we've just had a really good camp. Everyone's been competing and balling because uh, we got a lot of depth this year. And so there's a lot of competition going on within every position. So it's just been a, good, a great camp. How have you seen Josh Youngblood evolve as a wide receiver since last year? Definitely. Uh, I mean, we didn't see him much at receiver last year, more of a returner, but this year, I can uh, see a big difference in him, uh, you know, just in his route running, his understanding of the offense and defense and everything.